Well, the man who was killed, 24-year-old Jatarius Rees, had an arrest record dating back to 2018. His charges range from burglary to domestic violence to robbery, but he was still fortunate enough to have family who loved him and who say the violence needs to end. NBC 15's Lisa Labreniak is live at police headquarters tonight. Lisa, you spoke with the victim's aunt there today as she visited the police department. Yeah, that's right, Andrea, and she says this isn't the first time she's lost a family member to gun violence. 24-year-old Jatarius Reeves killed on New Year's Eve in downtown Mobile as a result of gun violence, a story that is all too familiar to Blenda Shavers. Jatarius Reed is my nephew. Losing her nephew while still grieving the loss of her son, who was shot in September at the Bank Nightlife Club on Azalea Road. Derek Shavers died roughly two weeks later in the hospital, and the person that put him there in the first place is still out there. I was totally shocked. I have lost two, to one net through died in the sleep, and then I died, had a net through that the Tyrus Reed to die by gun violence. My son Derek Shavers died by gun violence. These guns in Alabama is getting ridiculous. Coming to the Mobile Police Department with this book, hoping to give officials a better idea of who her son was and how much he meant to her. Please, if anyone know anything that led up to Derek Shavers shooting or even my net through, please call the police. Her nephew, Jatarius Reeves, went to B.C. Rain High School, and according to Facebook, he had a baby boy on the way. It sounds like Reeves was also known as Red, many people commenting on his profile in disbelief, saying he will be missed. And while I was out today, I ran into a man who says he lost his son to gun violence during a shooting on Navco Road here in Mobile. He says talking about this incident was kind of like adding salt to the wound and says people need to learn how to put down the guns. Reporting live in Mobile, Lisa Liberniak, NBC 15 News.